Uh, my name is Jason Chu, um, spelled J-A-S-O-N-C-H-U. I'm a science fellow at Gemini Observatory, part of NSF's NORLAB. Ponyua Inna uh, is a very important discovery because uh, it is the most farthest uh, quasar that we've been able to find. And so these objects are very, very big, um, massive black holes um, that are uh, sucking in and accreting matter at such a high rate that they're so bright we can see it all the way across the universe. And so what's really cool about it is that um, it has a lot of implications on um, how these black holes form even earlier because we're looking at so far back that um, it's very, very close to the beginning of the, of the universe or the Big Bang. And so by discovering some, something so massive, uh, it, puts a lot of, it puts a limit on how massive that object is when it was first formed, which was even further away. Yeah, so Poa Niwa Ena uh, is a very important major discovery because uh, it just shows how um, these massive objects can form so early, um, and we still have no idea how that even happens. Um, and so this has a lot of important implications on how galaxies and the black holes um, that reside within them uh, evolve from early in the universe to how they look today in the galaxies we see today. Yeah, so this object is a very, very massive black hole, um, about a billion suns, all crammed into a very small location. And this is residing in the center of a galaxy that's uh, about 13 billion light years away. And so this object is um, accreting or, or sucking in matter so quickly that it is, it's, it is radiating a lot of energy. And it is so bright that we can see it all the way across the universe. Yeah, so I think that um, we should have both cultural as well as scientific achievements uh, go hand in hand together because we can't consider both of them in a vacuum on its own. And so by um, using these Hawaiian names, uh, we honor both the culture as well as the scientific achievements that we've been able to, to do. And especially Hawaiian uh, language is important because um, a major part of the discovery was actually done on Mauna Kea. And so it was important that we honor um, its contribution to science overall for um, humanity as overall completely. Mauna Kea is an exceptional observing site uh, for astronomy uh, in the entire world. And this is because that the um, characteristics of observing from the summit um, are completely unparalleled by any other observatory in the entire world. And so we have the best telescopes up there which allows us to do literally cutting edge research um, that puts us an entire leg up um, in front of other observatories. And so this is the reason why Mauna Kea is leading a lot of the major um, scientific discoveries in astronomy, especially, um, especially since um, given what we just observed now. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's important to, to uh, emphasize here that um, a lot of these discoveries actually rely on multiple different telescopes, and each of these telescopes has a different, slightly different capability um, that um, makes it stronger, s strongly suited to observe it in a certain way than others. And so it's very important that we have a lot of these different telescopes um, collaborating together, uh, especially within um, our parent organization, NSF's NORLAB, uh, where we have telescopes in South America as well as here in Hawaii, which can see this object at, you know, both at the same time. And so um, by collaborating together, uh, they can get complementary data that um, can um, make the result even more interesting. Uh, okay, yeah, so Mauna Kea is a great place to observe because there's a lot of different factors uh, that all come back, come together uh, to make it uh, an exceptional observing site. Uh, so for one, we're in the middle of the Pacific, so there's really not very much light pollution that will affect observations. And because we're in the middle of the ocean, that means the airflow over the mountain is also very smooth and so allows us to um, see stars and galaxies and planets a lot sharper than uh, from other sites, um, other observatories around the world. Um, that, um, given also the fact that the Mount Okea is so much higher, it's above a lot of the water vapor, also allows us to do some very interesting observations that can only otherwise be done from space. Sure. My name is Kaiu Kimura, K-A Okina I-U, last name K-I-M-U-R-A, and I'm the Executive Director of the Imilua Astronomy Center. Ahua Heinoa is uh, a newer initiative um, housed under the Imiloa Astronomy Center in partnership with Kahaka'ula Oke'elikolani, College of Hawaiian Language, uh, the Institute for Astronomy uh, at the University of Hawaii in Manoa, 
and the Baunuchia observatories. I think the really important thing about Ahuahei Noa is the impact that it's having on both the scientists and our um, Hawaiian-speaking uh, students and teachers. I think this program affords the opportunity for um, scientists and classrooms to have direct exchange um, as it relates to new discoveries being made on top Mauna Kea, while also relating and investigating those discoveries uh, in a way that um, connects to traditional Hawaiian knowledge and Hawaiian language. And it allows for a space to um, have these two worldviews kind of come together and better understand one another and put in, into context um, how modern discoveries are perhaps not so modern at all. And uh, discovering that within our Hawaiian um, theories and concepts of creation, some of these um, quote unquote modern discoveries are actually called forth in very old um, records of Hawaiian knowledge and Hawaiian information. So I think um, both provide each other a platform to explore and learn as a modern yet very old discovery. So I think Ahuahei Noa is a really important program um, to Kumu, uh, to our students, uh, and to scientists because it provides a space where everyone can come together and learn from one another, uh, where scientists are able to share their discoveries with students and teachers directly, and where students and teachers who are Hawaiian speaking are able to engage in the scientific process, but in a way that relates and connects back to our language and to very old traditional um, bodies of, of knowledge from our Hawaiian perspective. So I think both learn from one another um, and are able to develop connections um, between uh, a scientific way of understanding and our very um, Hawaiian way of understanding. So one of the exciting things about Ahuahei Noa is having access to the science and the discovery being made uh, through the observatories and having a direct link to our students and our teachers. To make the scientific inquiry happening right here in our very own home accessible and relatable um, in ways that give our students and our next generation opportunities to engage. Yeah. Uh, the object is called Po Niwa Ena, and it is um, several large ideas put together in one word. So Po refers to a deep, fathomless darkness, source of energy, uh, source of creation that initiated the birth of our entire universe um, and everything in it. So Po is referencing that powerful source of energy and creation. Niwa is uh, sort of this spinning um, motion that the object is in, causing it to be um, radiant and brilliant. Uh, so if you look at the image, I think the name really captures what um, the, the object or the discovery um, is emanating. And so it's, it's this very old, powerful uh, source of creation that is, is spinning and is uh, emitting very radiant, um, bright glow and light that's um, indicative of the energy that is in the discovery. So Imi Loa is all about celebrating and honoring place, and in particular Mauna Kea and all that Mauna Kea stands for. Mauna Kea is rooted in a deep, long-standing history, uh, and for our Native Hawaiian community, our history that is an ancestral history back to, to the beginning of time. Um, and so at Imi Loa, we aspire to um, celebrate and share that history and that significance to our culture and to our people as a, as a foundation. Uh, and building off of that, also exploring um, new ways and new perspectives that have been introduced to Hawaii, and in particular through scientific inquiry and astronomy, um, in ways that are relevant to Hawaii and all that Hawaii stands for. Um, so Imi Loa itself means, right, this long-standing history and legacy and deep value of our Hawaiian community for this perpetual search for new knowledge. Um, and this search is 
only as important as it is relatable to the community. So Imi Lua is all about bringing relations uh, and relatability within our community to old and contemporary 